Because the thing that kills most people around the world is guns. And nobody doing anything about it, you know? And America is going around the world taking back people to America, extradite them for the biggest gun dealer in the world, the biggest drug dealer in the world. But they don't go to the root of the problem. They just go on the fruit. They're picking the fruit of the problem, not the root of the problem. For example, I'll give you one example. America went to Jamaica to get a Jamaican, say, biggest drug dealer, biggest gun smuggler. But the funny thing, Jamaica don't make drugs. Jamaica don't make guns. And you have the biggest gun dealer in Jamaica. But the biggest gun dealer in the world is a company that make gun in America and the gun is getting into small kid hand around the world. Jamaica don't make gun. Guyana don't make gun. No we make gun. African country they don't make gun. But American gun is all over the world. So the real person that's supposed to be in jail is the gun owners, the company, the CEO, the president, the owner of the gun company. Because gun is big business, okay? They make the gun, they sell it black market, and next thing you do, you end up back on the street in America, which gun kill about 99% of black people in America. And how does these kids get these guns? That's the problem America don't ask. And they have this saying, you know, people kill people, gun don't kill people. But it's the saying is back to front. The saying should go like this, gun kill people, but people don't kill people because if they don't have this gun, they wouldn't kill anyone in the first place. So the first thing America should be doing is to go after the company that make guns, do good paperwork. Gun has to be, has a number on it, serial number, can trace back to the company, trace back to the person who buy it from the company and so they know how this gun get in the street of America and that's number one problem in America America fighting on drugs war on drugs but it should be war on guns okay because all the drugs put together cocaine ashish weed speed you name it does not kill more people than guns you put all of those together, it's not even 1%. How much people go overdose on drugs? And check it in America, around the world, maybe about 5,000 5, people get killed every day with guns. So the root of the problem is the gun owner. The people who own this gun company, they're making billions, billions of dollars in drugs, in guns. Okay, and and what happened for the year? How much people die for the year with these guns? And no gun owner, no CEO, no president, no supervisor, never been charged. But America have the time to go in the next country, extradite someone from the next country and say they are the big, biggest gun dealer in the world. But I, can under, I cannot understand that. It doesn't make sense to me. All of this is just a waste of time. Okay? You have to go to the people who are making the gun, arrest those people, put them in jail. Because they are the one who are selling the gun on the black market. Okay? So that is the problem. That is the root of the problem. Where are these guns coming from? All over the world that people have gone. That's a big business. And so that is the problem in America. Kids take gun, shoot up kids in school. It's happened so many times, but nobody never say where this gun is coming from. You understand? America loves guns, so they cannot stop it. So you live by the gun, you die by the gun. You know? But it's not right that, you know, people 
the, the incident in Jamaica, so many Jamaican get killed because they want to take one guy back to America, say he's the biggest gun dealer in the world. The biggest gun dealer in the world is the gun company. And they are the one who deal in the gun. And they are the one who's sup supposed to be prosecuted for getting the gun on the street and into kid hand. So, what I think that the government should do, that anyone who got killed with a gun, the gun company should be responsible for that person dead. The family should sue the gun company for that person dead. Because it's their weapon, their illegal weapon, that killed their son or, or their daughter. You understand? So unless somebody start to pay for this killing and pay for these guns that they're getting on the street and they have to have a better way that they could trace this gun back to the company whoever making these guns and how they who they sell it to and who the person sell it to because you can go all over you can listen to the news you've never heard of a story that they find a boatload of gun but trust me there is boatload of gun a plain load of gun. There is plain load of gun. Because there are no war on gun. There's only war on drugs. And war on drugs is the stupidest thing. All the drugs I think should be legalized. And I think that will stop a lot of crime. Alcohol is a drug. I don't see so many drunk people walking every day on the street. People know they have to be responsible. Cocaine is a drug. See you release cocaine. The people who are taking cocaine, they are the ones still going to be taking it. It's not going to be free for all that I'm going to say. I'm going to take cocaine because cocaine is, is no more illegal. You understand? But the best thing what the government should do is legalize all the drugs. All the killing is going to stop. And I guarantee you there's not going to be even 2% people are going to be dying on these drugs. Every day is people dying with guns. Every day people killing for turf. Every day gang is killing. And the main thing they're killing for, back to where they're going back, is cocaine, is drugs, turf. You understand? So legalize all the drugs and you should get all the killing should stop. So that's my opinion for this situation in America and around the world. Because the people them that are getting killed are the bottom of the food chain. Bottom, bottom of the food chain. Okay? They are the one who don't bring in the drugs. The black don't bring in the drugs. They are the one who's selling it. Okay? The big guys who are bringing in the, the drugs, they are making billions. They don't even know what to do with the money. Because when the black guy sell, they give it to the next guy that sell it to them, and the next guy until you go to the top. So they are the one who killing each other. And they are the one who's gonna be in the jail. And they are the one who's gonna have a miserable life. While the big guy is in the house somewhere in the islands having fun. And if you ever see any bus, do you ever see a police? Catch any black guy with billions of dollars or millions of dollars? No. No. It's the white guy who they catch with all this kind of money. But they don't, you don't see them selling drugs on the street. You know? Their hands are clean. So, let I say legalize all the drugs. You're going to have a few of those. But war on drugs is just wasting a time. They've been fighting war and drugs. You can go anywhere and get drugs. You can go anywhere. It's never going to stop. You can never stop drugs. You can never stop something that people are going to make millions of dollars. And they're going to just go to work from 9 to 5 and make $600 a week. And they can make that in one day. It's never going to happen. People are going to risk their life. That's the risk people is going to take. Okay? So... You can someone gonna catch someone with some drugs, you're gonna lock him up for a couple of months, couple of years, and he back out on the street. That's what he know, that's what he's gonna be doing again. The only wasting the taxpayer money behind these people. That money should take 
and build up community, build houses for community, put people in school. The main thing there, you need education. If people need to go to school, put them into trade and stuff like that. That's the only way you can you can stop the violence, stop the killing. Okay, that's the only way. And until America start to build, create infrastructure for the black community, create jobs, people have no choice. Not to say people don't want to work. People want to work, but there is no job. What job they're gonna be doing? Okay. That's why they say that people only want to be on welfare. No. Even a million people don't want to go work. You cannot find work for them. People want to work. People want to take care of their family. People need to move out of the ghetto. They can't. They have no choice. You know? So I think that the government should step in and start to help these people. Give them the, the help that they need as a community. And we have less crime. People want to kill each other. And until the drugs legalize, there wouldn't be any peace around the world. Okay, so that's my thoughts on drugs and guns. Okay, the gun company, they need to be in the slammer. And they need better records of the gun and the shipment and where it goes and who is shipping it the people can be accountable for this weapon okay subscribe to my channel like and peace out